everybody, my name is Wellens and welcome to Little Misfortune. This is by Kill Monday Games, who previously made Fran Bo? Or is it Fran Bao? I'm not sure. I actually wanted to play that one first and then head towards Little Misfortune, but uh, the scheduling didn't really work out, so we'll start with this one first. Which is okay, because it's not like it's a sequel, but I'm pretty sure there's gonna be references that I'll miss, which I'll be able to catch on to whenever I get back to Fran Bo. As far as I know, this is a point-and-click-ish style adventure game, and it looks very cute, but the story seems like it'll be quite dark. Well, this is spooky already. The fox takes orders from the Grim Reaper? It's a portal. Welcome to my game. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Play it until the end and you'll be rewarded. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> oh, the sad part is, today is the day she will die. Huh, I can hear you, you know. Oh, you can? Mm-hmm. Are you inside my head or something? Hmm, well, okay, yes. <laughs> All right, I'll call you Mr. Voice. O what did you say about me dying today? Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. Huh? <laughs> Nobody said nothing? You know, I have prepared a game for you. A game? Really? For me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Ooh. Deal? Eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Okay, it's Aww. a deal. What? Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Okay, I don't trust that guy already. But more importantly, you see what's on the wall here? Benjamin. Look, I drew this picture. It's the fox I see outside my window sometimes. I call him Benjamin. He's a really cute fox. Ugh, I don't care much for foxes. Well, nobody asked you. Although I don't trust the fox either. Oh, she seems like a nice, normal child. But who would name their kid Misfortune? That part seems kind of... unfortunate. <laughs> I like to move my body. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the music that goes on forever. 
uns, 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 uns. <laughs> Not helping with our mission of leaving the house, though. Secret hiding spot. Oh, impressive. But why do you need a hiding spot? I don't like it when mommy and daddy argue too much. And when I come here, I can dream and travel far away. I see. <laughs> Are you an only child? This is Babsy, the guardian of the secret spot. You see his eye? He got that from a battle against a monster. A monster? That sounds scary. It was. This is my diary. Nobody is allowed to read it. Want to see? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for letting us see. Misfortune Ramirez Hernandez. It sounds like a Spanish, like a Hispanic name. But her accent is somewhere in Europe. Maybe Russian or something. I'm so cute. <laughs> Did you draw all this? Oh, that's cute. She has an iPad and she's Googling something. I like to play a lot with my toys. I like to talk to them because it's fun. Hello, diary. At school, I drew and at home, I was at my hiding spot talking to Bubsy and I heard it. I saw a fox walking outside my room. He's called Benjamin, I think. <laughs> How did you come to that conclusion anyway? <laughs> Benjamin. Ugh, that. Fox. Yes. <laughs> Hello, diary. My dad lied to me again. Not going out to the park today. I made myself pretty, but he doesn't care. I feel sad. I cried, but told mommy I'm okay. I'm afraid if I tell her I'm sad, she'll be angry. Sometimes, I don't know how to feel. Nobody is teaching me how to feel. I wish in school they'd teach us where feelings come from, but for reals, no fairy tales. Yikes forever. Oh, yikes forever. She sounds like a very modern child. Although, judging by her surroundings right now, it seems like a remote cottage in the middle of nowhere. Whoa. Hello, diary. Is it okay to have feelings for a fox? Oh. Benjamin the fox came to visit when I was playing outside, and we looked at each other, and my heart felt warm. And like, if I was about to vomit, but in a good way. Then he ran away because my mommy shouted that dinner was ready. <laughs> the puke of love, that's what it is. Hello, diary. My daddy hit mommy. Is that supposed to be normal? Should I hit people I love? It doesn't feel right. I don't like it when daddy hits mommy. Hmm. The art style and everything, we're getting the impression that it's a very nice, happy game, but underneath. Maybe daddy can't see he's hurting me too when he hits mommy. I promise, I will never be like my daddy. I played today that I took a plane to Japan and saw interesting things. I know about Japan because my friend is Japanese. He likes sushi. My Japanese friend speaks Japanese. That's very problematic when we want to talk. It's hard to understand each other. It's confusing. But I like him. He has a pair of sweet boots and a cowboy hat. His name is Hiro, and he's a ghost. I drew him a picture, but I never gave it to him. Is he actually a ghost? Because I was under the impression that this might have been like a school friend or something, but now I'm not so sure. That's Hiro, my Japanese friend. He's a ghost. Oh. Hello, diary. Look, I have glitter from school. It's super shiny and we use it to make Christmas cards. I think Christmas cards are pretty, but I don't believe Santa is for reals. If a man could give everyone a gift, why can't he give poor people water and food? I saw a TV show with people from other countries having nothing to eat. Anyway, I don't believe Santa is real. But the glitter is amazing. It makes me think that all that makes me sad and angry can be sprinkled with sparkle to, to look prettier. That makes me a little less sad. Glitter. I love my glitter. Hmm, but underneath all of it, there's still something sad, huh? There's a lot of glitter on these pages too. This page? Hello, diary. I went picking tomatoes with my grandma. It smelled so nice. I saw butterflies, some other insects too. 
I ate two tomatoes and then I was stuffed. I made a real nice drawing there, you see? Yes, very nice. I did the coloring too. Impressive. Hello, diary. I was riding my tricycle. We don't have money for the bicycle, and I looked straight in the sun. And I started crying because it hurt my eyes. My mommy said that one should not look directly at it. Hello, diary. It was fun today because I was at the lake and I saw birds flying and also fish in the water. I felt like warm water came near my bottom. What? <laughs> Did you pee? I peed in the lake. It was really warm. <laughs> Hello, diary. How are you? I'm good too. I have to do homework, but I can't stop thinking about Benjamin. I found a picture of me when I was younger. Time goes fast. The cake looks yummy. Look at that picture. I was such a baby. Very cute. Now I'm such a lady. I'm a little lady. That's what I am. You're a lady now. <laughs> that reminds me of a song from, um, what's that game? Rhythm Heaven? I'm a lady now. I'm a lady now already. <laughs> Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Halloween. Halloween costume ideas. Little Lady Fox. Hmm. I feel like, I don't know if it's true, but for someone so young who likes writing diaries, it seems like to me she has a lot of like, mm, maybe introverted tendencies. Maybe because she can't really talk to anybody, so probably she might not have siblings and her parents keep arguing all day long. I love my coloring book. Uh, what to do with the coloring book? Take it with you or leave it for Bubsy? Bubsy the bear? Hmm, I kind of want to take it with me, is that okay? But when you say leave it for Bubsy, I kind of feel bad for taking it away from him. And I think he'll be fine. I'm gonna take it with me if I get bored, okay? Okay. Don't get mad, Bubsy. We're going on a long trek today, so I gotta make sure I don't get bored. Look, I made these paper dolls myself. This is Kimberly and this is Steven. They're on a trip fighting super evils. Well, good for them. <laughs> like later. Oh, you still got a lot left. Throw glitter with F. Do I have a limited supply? Because if not, <laughs> why would I not throw this everywhere? Get in there and then throw it inside. Can we do that? No. <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. Leaving the safety of my own home. Do you want to bring the backpack with you? I saw a monster in here once. I showed it the finger and it never came back. Damn, you go girl. Before you leave, which toy do you choose to bring with you? Can't I take them both? No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Okay, I choose... Unicorn or stone? <laughs> you tell me it's important, but I don't know in what way, right? Uh, I want to pick the stone because I feel like it can be a good weapon, too. <laughs> Is that too practical? I choose the stone that he threw at me once. Oh! Interesting choice. Yeah, I call him Stony because he's a stone, get it? <laughs> Stony the stone. That's very clever. Thank you. Oh my god. The red. That's basically how I name my Neopets Pet Pets too. <laughs> ah, and so you know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. <laughs> Shadam! <laughs> Happiness to everything! Hey, you. On the other side of the screen. Remember I told you she was going to die today? Let's keep that a secret between us, alright? Hey! 
The fox. She already knows though. She doesn't seem that dumb. This is grandma. She wears a diaper too. <laughs> you still wear a diaper? Nah, that was so last year. <laughs> How? When do you stop wearing diapers? You're going to school. Maybe you're like six or seven? Mommy likes to collect glasses. I broke a couple once by running too fast. Did mommy find out who did it? No, but I had a piece of glass in my foot for like five days. Oh my god, that doesn't sound good. Do you want to run? Oh, <laughs> oh, please don't fall, don't fall. Oh! Damn it, it's all broken now. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry, you can trust me. Okay, thank you. I feel like my parents, if they see this... Hmm, maybe I could try to fix it. Mmm... Sure. Th basically, they're trying to tell me that all my actions have consequences, right? I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. I can't possibly make it any worse than it already is, so... Uh... Can I- how do I rotate this? Just put it here? Okay, I mean... We all start somewhere. Hold on, that's not where this goes. How do I rotate this, though? I'm not really sure. This obviously goes here. Uh-huh. And then this one, if we could rotate it a little bit... Hmm. Maybe I'll pick another one first. This piece... Would be like here. What about the flower? You want that to go inside first? Uh-huh. <laughs> There's a gigantic piece of who knows what here. Like that. And like that. Uh. Oh, maybe we don't need to rotate it after all. I just thought we needed that. This one's in the back. Like somewhere around here. I did it. How did that actually work? Because you didn't use glue or anything. <laughs> Speaking of which... Yeah, a little bit of glitter makes everything better. Look, that's me. Mommy told me I have to smile even when I'm sad. Hmm. My daddy's friend was a hunter and killed this moose. His daughter Erica? She thought his gun was a toy. She said bang bang to her mommy and daddy. Then her parents died, and she was so sad. <laughs> you sound kind of happy about that. <laughs> okay, is that the way for me to leave the house? Was there anything else on this side? Not really. Mommy likes to go oh, like glasses. that's right. I broke a couple ones by running too fast. Did mommy find out who did it? Mm -hmm. No, but I... Right. Is it not a school day today? Where is everybody? Ugh, it smells like cigarettes in here. Yeah, that's my mommy. She also likes to drink juice a lot. <laughs> well, are you ready to complete your first mission? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get that prize. Of eternal happiness for mommy. Oh my god. Oh, dead rabbits again? When will Daddy learn I like them alive? Uh... You want me to throw glitter at it? Hmm, I guess we... I oh, don't... That rabbit's mm. again. When will Daddy learn I like them alive? I feel like if we throw glitter into the fridge, someone's gonna get angry. But if it's telling me, how can I not? Oh! 
Okay. Oh. <laughs> I can do it again and again. Hmm. That's a lot of cigarettes on the table there. Mommy, this smells really bad. What is it? Dead animals. That's what it is. Yikes forever. Is it because they live out in the woods and they're kind of like a hunting family? I yeah, that's it, right? When I grow up, I want to be just like my mommy, a juice drinker. <laughs> that's, yes, that's juice. That's today! October 11th! Uh, yeah. I'm going out to play, mommy! She doesn't care either way. Good day, morning! It's afternoon, Miss Fortune. Ah, okay. Good afternoon, morning! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually go to school? Makes me worried a little bit. Hey, little crow, would you like some glitter? No? Alright. Remember Benjamin the Fox? This is where I first saw him. He was hiding in the trash and we made eye contact. It was really intense. Yes, you told me about that fox already. You shouldn't trust a fox. They're all criminals. What? A fox criminal? <laughs> That's silly. Foxes usually do have the image of being sly, although this narrator guy, I don't trust you either. This pool smells like a toilet, <laughs> because I pee on it. <laughs> Ew. That is disgusting. Not as disgusting as when my daddy puked in it. That was disgusting. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Oh? This is where daddy often sleeps. Daddy? He sleeps outside. Cause mommy gets mad? But he's the one that's hurting mommy, right? Uh... <laughs> well, something is happening whenever I do glitter, and it seems to be a positive thing, so I'll keep doing it. Hello? Yikes. <laughs> Kitty, don't go! Oh no, oh no. Damn it. I never get to pet the sweet animals. Oh jeez. I thought the cat was gonna get run over. So, before we continue, you need to know the rules of the game, Miss Fortune. Alright. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Okay, choices? There is no right or wrong. Only consequences. Okay, okay. Only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Your next mission is to cross this road. Alright, I can do that. Look to the left, look to the right. Any course? No. Okay, I'm going. So I can't fail the mission and not get eternal happiness? Oh! <gasps> I saw a monster! What monster? I didn't see anything. It was there. I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. Alright. <laughs> This narrator sounds like a predator. Oh, I don't want you to die, Miss Fortune. What happened to you? Look, a sleepy bird. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go now. Let's make it fabulous. Maybe that's why these guys are gathering around here. Hmm. Do you have new dialogue after I sprinkled you? Look, no. a sleepy bird. Come on, Miss 
Yeah. You just get the sense of impending doom. But you don't really know how or what's gonna happen. Rain cloud ain't gonna make me sad. But it will set Barnes on fire. Oh my god. What? Is that like a freaking satellite from space? a puppy. Hello, puppy. What a cute party hat. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. All right. Well, I'm just gonna pretend she's a... Oh, whoa, whoa. Set the dog free. Mmm, I don't think the owner would appreciate that, and the dog looks perfectly happy right now, if not a bit derpy. <laughs> Stop giving me so much pressure! I feel like I'm gonna make the wrong move, but like the narrator says, there's no right or wrong. I will play with it, so we can share a nice time together. Good choice. Now, throw the ball at it. What ball? This ball. Ah, that ball. Okay. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? Don't hit it in the face! Oh. Ow! <laughs> Don't hit yourself in the face either. <gasps> Puppy! What did I do? It's all broken now. Mr. Voice, everything I touch breaks. What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Sometimes life is just unfair. But I'm here for you. Really? Thank you. Well, sadly, the puppy will miss the party now. What party? The owner of this dog, George, is having a party. I think you have to go and tell him about the accident. What accident? Ah, yes, the puppy, yes. Let's go. It's just a bit farther ahead. All right. <sighs> um... I feel like I made a bad choice already, even though you tell me I didn't. <gasps> Red Bull Puppy Killer. You seem remarkably calm above this too, Miss Fortune. I'm sorry I broke you, puppy. I really am. Maybe we can play later, you know, when I'm broken too. Oh. Uh, at least we got this. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing to my heart. Take the party hat as a symbol of our friendship, puppy doggy. Oh, my dear God. Okay. Four? Okay, I'm just gonna assume that's like no dogs or no pooping around here. Something. It says no dogs allowed. Oh, really? Oh. Ow! Oh no, I step on Doogie Doo. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ew. Oh, sweet. I can see my footprint. <laughs> Was it possible for us to avoid that though? Because I can't go. It's only side scroll. Oh, I got like a light sprint. <laughs> Still walking across it though. Let's see what came out. I see a lot of glitter and. What? Is that rice pudding? <laughs> I can't watch this anymore. Please, let's keep moving. Miss Fortune, don't eat glitter. It's not good for you.
What does that say? Recycle something something? What country are we set in? That sign doesn't work. Do you see all the crap lying around? That's a good observation, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's kind of on the people for not paying attention to the sign. So, Miss Fortune, at the other side of this lake, you will be one step closer to the prize of eternal happiness. And the party, right? Ah, yes. That too. Oh, okay, I guess I should be happy about that. Do you want to clean this up though? You know, once at this lake, I got my head stuck in a plastic bag. I remember oh falling asleep and waking up in the hospital. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, I almost died. Is that why my parents call me Misfortune? Bad things just seem to happen around me. Maybe that's not my real name. <laughs> oh! What? Oh, uh, what's happening? I think you're in big trouble, Miss Fortune. Yeah, tell me about it. Where are these birds taking me? I have no idea, but you have to do something about it fast. Glitter. Throw glitter at birds. Um, I feel like either way it's gonna result in us falling down. <laughs> okay, my glitter is shiny. So if I throw glitter at the birds, they will only see shiny. And they will get confused and leave me alone. That sounds like a solid plan, Miss Fortune. Alright, here I go. Glitter attack! That works. Without hurting it, too. <laughs> this is taking a long time. How do I save myself? We didn't even go that high up. Well, time seems to slow down when we are in danger. Am I in danger? Oh. <laughs> what is hey, that? Look, a birdie. Hello, birdie. What the hell is that? Oh, that was a rude bird. <laughs> is any of this even real? Oh, why didn't I break my legs and die? Mm, you seem very good at falling. Thank you. <laughs> it's the parachute dress. So, Mr. Voice, is the party on the same way to the eternal happiness? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, that's convenient. Have you thought about how to break the news to George? About the puppy? Yes. I mean, if you want to. Yeah, I think we should be an honest kid here. A good, honest child. Yes, of course. That's the least I can do for the sweet puppy. That is very brave of you, Miss Fortune. Thank you. Hey, we made it across the bridge without walking across it. Oh, look! A boat! Hello! Are we there yet? Just a little bit farther away. Ah, okay. Oh my goodness! Ah, uh, oh, a fish! What should we do about it? If I bring it with me, is it gonna die? Um, mm, I don't know if we should bring you with me because I'm apparently not that fortunate, <laughs> but okay. I'll keep it. His name is Rodrigo and he needs a new place to stay. He fell down right on me. We were meant to be. I wonder if Rodrigo has heard about sushi. <laughs> it's like Rodrigo put in tiny pieces, you know? <laughs> I don't think he wants to know about that. <laughs> Can we see our inventory somewhere, by the way? Not that I know of. I know we can sprint, I'm just not doing it. And here we are, the house of George. I'm a bit nervous about introducing myself. You'll do fine. You're brave, telling the truth about the puppy. <laughs> Stop it. I'm doing it for the puppy, you know? <laughs> okay. 
But we don't know them. Uh, there is a bell. Nobody's answering. I'll invite myself in. Time to check out the party. Check out the fish in the fish tank. <laughs> I saw a man once floating in the lake. Just like this fish. Is anybody home? Ah, oh, what a nice picture. I wish I had a picture like this with my mommy and daddy. Oh! Hello? What is it, Miss Fortune? Nothing. What happened to the kid? Are you sure this is the right house? Where is the party? Hello? There's an awful lot of... <gasps> Excuse me, are you George? Are you the owner of a puppy? Because I bring really bad news. Oh no, wait. It looks like he hung himself. Hung himself? Like a piñata? Should I hit him like a piñata? No, Miss Fortune. He's dead. Dead? But he's wearing a pair of sweet boots. He, he can't be dead. Hey, Miss Fortune, I think this party's over. Let's leave. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. I like the puppy. Bye. It's kind of morbid how Miss Fortune reacts to morbid things so easily. Freaking birds. Thanks to them, I obviously came late to the party. I don't know, maybe it helped you travel a great distance. Why is she reacting like this? Is this George or the dad? Hold on, if we look at that picture again... Oh, there's no feet in it. Oh, well, we saw George's ghost outside. <laughs> oh, what's this? I guess it's not finished. Let's fix it. Lovely! Look, I brought your doggy back. You're welcome. <laughs> you did a good thing today. Shadam! Happiness to your stepping out the <laughs> Seems like that might be making my heart stronger. Okay, I'm here now. Let's go into the woods and get that eternal happiness. Yes. What does eternal happiness even mean? That's pretty vague. Are you gonna give me money? Are you gonna give me health? Don't got a good feeling about it. Ah, oh, I love the woods. With the trees and the birds and the animals. Dangerous animals, Miss Fortune. You might run into a fox. A fox? Like Benjamin? Yes, but all foxes are evil. So keep your eyes open. Uh, all right. Hmm. I wonder if Miss Fortune reacting to bad things so easily is because she's seen too many bad things. Or is it because she's a kid and she doesn't really understand? Huh. What's this? A doll? Voodoo doll? Everything begins with the song of a jack doll. Everything begins with the song of a jack doll. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's in English. Hmm. Interesting. I'll keep it. Hey, what do you have there? Nothing. Hmm. It's a doll number one, so it seems like there will be more. Stay back, Miss Fortune. <gasps> what is it? Whoa. A wild, dangerous fox. Wait, I recognize that black tail. It's Benjamin. It doesn't matter. Attack it before it kills you. No, I don't think Benjamin will kill me. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Is your name Benjamin? Do you want to play with me? Oh no, don't go! Oh. <sighs> what a relief. 
We are safe now. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. There's a magical cave nearby. You need to find it. A magical cave? Okay. <laughs> Remember, Benjamin was in the cahoots with the Grim Reaper in the beginning. So I don't trust him. But I don't trust you either. Oh, it looks like Benjamin likes to paint. That's pretty cool. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Focus, Miss Fortune. We need to keep going. Uh, okay. Some kind of ritual was going on here. Maybe related to the doll? Just wanted to do that. <laughs> guy with caribou horns not exactly the grim reaper but someone's heading towards me <laughs> the way she runs landslide oh my gosh somebody died here oh is this the magical cave it doesn't look that magical just wait until you go inside <laughs> Oh, I like the sound of that. Oh, oh Miss Fortune. Question. What does this sign mean? Oh, I don't know. Sparkles? Ah, cool. So, whenever you're ready. Oh, this one's hard. Because this seems obviously dangerous. But at the same time, there was also that ritual circle thing on the ground in the forest. This is the way that Benjamin went, though, right? Oh, freak. Okay, let's go. Oh, I can't wait to see the magic inside. 